Hello and welcome to the Mule Byte series presented by the Center of Excellence team at Royal Cyber. In this video, we will show you how to effectively use Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central Connector and how you can use it in your projects. Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central is a business management solution that automates and streamlines business processes and helps organizations manage their businesses. Any point connector for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central enables you to manage entities for your company via APIs. Some common use cases for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central connector includes viewing sales order statuses on your account, creating a business central sales order when an opportunity is closed in Salesforce, keeping Salesforce accounts and business central customers in sync. We will be connecting to Salesforce via basic authentication by providing the username, password and security token of our Salesforce organization. We will be connecting to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central via basic authentication by providing the username, password and base URL, including tenant ID and environment name of our Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central instance. In this scenario, we will configure on new or update customer connector of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central to update or create new customer in Salesforce account. For this connector, we need configurations like company ID and scheduling strategy. Now retrieve a list of entities applying the specified filters and search queries. For this connector, we need configurations like company ID and entity. Retrieve a single entity by its ID if it exists. For this connector, we need configurations like company ID, entity, and entity ID. Create a single new entity. For this connector, we need configurations like company ID, entity, and entity payload. Updates a single entity by its ID. You must provide the latest e tag value for the entity to update successfully. For this connector, we need configurations like company ID, entity, entity ID, e tag, and entity payload okay for delete entities um delete deletes a single entity by id for this connector we need configurations like company id entity and entity id now let's take a quick look at the demo in this demo i am going to showcase the scenario in which i will keep salesforce account and business central customer in sync as soon as i update customer zip code in microsoft dynamics 365 business central Salesforce account will be updated respectively. So it is updated. Now I will come to Postman and find out the list of customers in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. And I can see the response right here. Now that brings us to the end of today's topic. Thank you for watching this episode of Mule Byte series. If you have any questions or need help in implementing this in your project, drop us an email at info at royalcyber.com and we would be happy to help. And do let us know what topic would you like to learn in the upcoming episodes in the comment section down below. Finally, hit the bell icon to subscribe to the channel to get more such exciting videos directly in your inbox if you haven't done that already. Thank you for watching and stay safe.